Hi everybody and welcome to Grammar and Youth. Today we're going to take a look at something really, really simple. We're going to look at the simple present and the simple past. Why two tenses, you may ask? Well, they are very closely connected and the simple present meaning the Gegenwart, is very similar to the simple past. <laughs> to get started, let's have a look at our examples here. As you can see, we're going to take a look at negative statements, at questions, and at short answers. So nothing too complicated. You already know about these formations. Well, by looking at the simple present. The most important thing to do during this part now is we must look at the full verb and we must look at the auxiliary verb. Those are really important, okay? So here we've got the simple present and there we've got the simple past. Let's take a look at our first example. Peter goes to school today. Okay, the simple present goes, go and goes third person. Okay, that's clear, right? In the simple past, Peter went to school today. Why went? Well, went or go is an irregular verb. So we've got the full verb here and it turns from simple present, go, to the simple past, went. Easy enough, right? Then let's move on and let's take a look at a negative sentence. Okay, Peter doesn't go to school today. So let's look at the colors again. We have got a full verb, go, and we have got an auxiliary verb, doesn't go to school today. What happens now? Let's turn that into the simple past, right? Peter didn't go to school today. Uh, yesterday, sorry. So we can see go is the same, but doesn't changes to didn't. So again, the full verb here, well, nothing happens to the full verb. Infinitive stays infinitive. But the auxiliary verb here changes from simple present to simple past. And well, how do we build a negation? Well, doesn't or don't plus infinitive. Well, that's the negation. Didn't and infinitive, that's the negation in the simple past, right? Let's take a look at another example. Does Peter go to school today? So we've got a question now. We've got a yes, no question. Did Peter go to school yesterday? Hmm. Again, look at the colors. The auxiliary verb here changes. The infinitive stays the same. So we've got a question that is clear. Does and to plus infinitive plus a question. Well, that's a question. Did and infinitive plus a question. Yeah, that's a question. Again, what happens? We've got the full verb, go and go. So the full verb does not change at all. But the auxiliary verb again, it changes from the simple present, does Peter go to school, to the simple past, did Peter go. 
And then, of course, we want to answer our question. So the answer might be yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. And in the past, yes, you've guessed it. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. The auxiliary verb changes from the simple present to the simple past. There is one rule you must follow. Look at that nice picture down here. If an auxiliary verb and a full verb form a verb construction, so for example, does Peter go, does Sarah like ice cream? The auxiliary verb always does the hard work. Does changes to did and do changes to did as well. And that's all there is to say about it. The simple past here really, really is very, very simple. Just watch out, make sure to always change the auxiliary verb. Well, that's all there is to say about it. I'm pretty sure you now understand how to form sentences in the simple past. Negative sentences. Sarah didn't run to school. You know how to build questions. Does Timmy like ice cream? Did Timmy like ice cream? And you also can make short answers to those questions in the past. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye.